second keynote speaker is joining us virtually, thanks to the wonderful technology that's supporting today's conference. We will welcome on stage Wiebke Siemering, a senior business development manager at OTA Insight, for her keynote, How to Shape Your 2021 Revenue Strategy with Forward-Looking Data. So we are now moving from the very macro picture to a little bit more micro picture. Hi, good morning, Dubai. It's, it's good to see such a big crowd. Um, I certainly would have preferred to be there in person today, but very glad to have the opportunity to do, join you virtually at least. And as we say next year, inshallah, we will see each other again. Okay, um, I'd say let's get started. So we've just heard what impact the pandemic has had on the global economy. And we all know the hotel industry is one of the hardest hit. So yeah, planning for 2021 is going to be challenging. The demand and financial projections for the coming months are uncertain because we are truly operating in uncharted territory. So we know the reality is there is more supply than demand. We know the competition is tough. Prices have dropped. And yes, you are battling competitors for each and every room. But the reality is also that there is still some demand left. So the question the question is, how can you ensure you're capturing a fair share of whatever demand might be coming into your market now and more importantly, going into next year? And how do you get the customer to stay at your hotel and not at the competition? Now, what we see at OT Insight is that most successful hotels are planning using data-led decisions. Now, the good news is we know there's really no shortage of data available, but then with the luxury of having so much data, the question is, where do you start, right? So today I speak about how data can shape your revenue strategy for next year. First, we have a look at some industry-wide observations, and then we move to how dynamic real-time forward-looking data can help you predict demand and what you can potentially do to take advantage of these insights. Now, before we start with our agenda topic for today, um, I know many of you are already part of OT Insight, but for, for everybody else in the audience, really just a short introduction of who we are. So in short, we are a business intelligence solution provider, and we have the mission to help the hotel industry visualize and leverage data for success. So today we have over 55,000 hotels globally using our rate shopper, rate inside to optimize room pricing and stay ahead of the competition. Another product we have, Parity Insight, helps chains and hotel management companies to track the hotel's parity performance. And then we have our BI tool, Revenue Insight, um, that allows hotels to easily and quickly analyze their PMS data. And I'm very exciting, our newest baby, we have just launched Market Insight where we basically show real-time future demand around hotels by looking at customer intent through their searches for flights, accommodation, events, et cetera. And that tool is, is really an industry first. Then some other exciting news from our side. Um, you might have seen the press release that recently we partnered up with TripAdvisor. Now TripAdvisor will provide us additional data sources to enrich our solutions and they will also resell our solutions alongside us. Now, let's move on and see what forward-looking data can tell us about future demand and what we can potentially learn from other industries. Now, here's some big names from different industries and you all, all know these industry leaders, right? So they, they have at least one thing in common. They use forward-looking data to understand where customers are looking. And then based on these insights, they make sure they have the right product on the shelf at the right price, available to the right person. And you recognize here the defini defini definition of revenue management. And if, if we are honest, traditionally, hotels have been in the dark when it comes to this information. And this is really where major OTAs and meta sites have taken advantage over hotels. Now things change. With the pandemic, revenue managers started to reconsider their approach. 
Now, in the past, um, we can all relate to that. In order to produce an accurate forecast, hotels mainly looked at historical data and other indicators like pickup and what they have on the books in the future. And we all know this information is less useful in these unpredictable times. Now we see that revenue management has turned into a more commercial role, a role that is now more focused on understanding customer intent and search behavior and where revenue managers have to be more creative and they have to find new ways in getting the eyeballs to their shop's window. Now we know from own experience, if we book a holiday or a business trip, every booking starts with a search and every search leaves a trail. So customers are searching for destinations, they look at different dates, they search for flights and accommodation, and they browse through online reviews and they do their research because today's travelers, thanks to the digital environment we are in, are mostly sophisticated. They often consider and compare their options before they actually make the booking. Now, at OT Insight, we look at all these steps of the booking journey and we convert millions of external data points into actionable insights using our machine learning. And we categorize these searches as pre-booking or we say upper funnel data. And this informs our demand forecast predictions. And I show you in a bit how this upper funnel data looks like in our tool. But first, I want to touch on some global and Middle Eastern market insights and show you what types of data indicate demand that could impact your pricing strategy for future dates. Now let's look at customer booking behaviors. Now many of our clients use the option of having a free on the books integration into our solutions. And that's, this gives us the following insights on the booking window. So now we know with the pandemic, the booking window globally, and we see the same trend for the Middle East has shortened. And this is really irrespective of star rating or property, we see the same trend across the board. Now, Looking, year, looking at the graph year on year, we see a drastic change starting around March when the pandemic emerged. Now, more than 50% of the customers make their booking on the day of arrival versus 30% back in 2019. And if we look more in depth into our data, we also see up to 25% of the rate changes being made on the same day are happening every hour within a hotel's comm set. So we are really in a very dynamic environment and that tells us it's crucial to keep monitoring comm set rates throughout the day to be able to adapt your pricing accordingly. Now some more insights. Um, the first graph here shows the evolution of hotel searches on OTAs and meta sites for some key cities in the Middle East indexed to search levels from early August. Now, the demand might have seemed rather stagnant based on the bookings you saw coming in for your property, but the demand signals we see here show that the demand actually wasn't stagnant at all. So search volume for KSA and Cairo dropped further from October onwards, while we see a great spike for demand um, for the Dubai market. And then on the right graph, we can see how domestic searches evolved over time. So I think, yeah, not surprising to see that Riyadh and Jeddah have a much higher share in domestic than international travel compared to markets like Cairo or Dubai. But we also see that the number of domestic searches overall started to decrease as international travel restrictions were lifted. And finally, Let's look at demand for flight searches for the destination Dubai. Now in the left graph, we show the country of origin for the flight surges, in this case aggregated by region, but really build up from country and even city and airport details. Now we know European countries are very important source markets, but we also see Middle Eastern countries which attract here under Asia are very much present. And then on the right, 
we are looking at flight searches and their lead time of the departure date on that search. And what we see here is what we also see across other key cities globally. Clearly, there was early optimism at the beginning of the pandemic that things will go back to normal pretty soon. But then we all know the reality kicked in and short-term planning became more prevalent. Now, the recent announcement of vaccines will certainly be important to your 2021 planning. And it's going to be interesting to see how that news will impact the hotel and flight searches. Let's move on. So what I've shown you right now is historically gathered, relatively static data. And that's all good to know and certainly very interesting. But then what can you actually do with it as an individual hotel? We know demand indicators have changed and will probably continue to change. So we believe what you actually need as a hotel is real-time, dynamic, forward-looking insights into your specific market or your specific hotel. If you understand who is looking to come to your destination, what customers are looking Now, what real-time data is important to predict demand? And how would you analyze such diverse data? Let's take a look at a few of the main demand indicators. Now, flight searches, we already talked about that. Understanding the peak arrival days or weeks are, which countries the guest is searching from, and the duration they are planning to stay. Um, again, we talked about hotel searches. So same here. What are the popular arrival days and weeks? And what are the popular lengths of stay? And also, what is the availability in your market? of hotels, but also of alternative accommodation, like the Airbnb. Generally, how much supply is still out there? And then compare that with your own on the books data. Now, next question, which hotels are searching guests looking at? We know traveler requirements have changed, so you might be competing with a totally new set of hotels. And then how is your pricing strategy comparing to that competition? And then, of course, last but not least, are there any important events or holidays happening in your market that you need to be aware of? So these are just really the main indicators we see, but there are certainly other factors as well to be considered. Now, how does forward-looking data look like for the Middle East? And let's take a look at a few of the examples. A week from now, the end of season race of the Formula One is happening in Abu Dhabi. Now the 13th of December is a Sunday. Traditionally, Sundays are low demand days for Yas Island properties. However, on our map, and that's the famous heat map you probably already saw somewhere, you notice some red patches, meaning we see elevated demand around the race circuit for that day. And while we know Yas Island properties are already sold out for the event because they usually accommodate the Formula One teams. We also see that 88% of the properties in the city overall still have inventory. So a great opportunity for those city properties to get the overflow business. Now, from which countries are people searching? So we see the UK and Russia on top, but you notice one other interesting feeder market, Israel. Now, research shows one of the key elements Israelis look for when traveling is access to certified kosher food. Now, is your hotel equipped to, co to offer kosher food? And if yes, is that information available to the customer searching online? Now, Israel, we know, is a new emerging market for the UAE, and we know the reasons for it. We know it's unrelated to the pandemic. Um, However, I think the message here is, as travel trends and travel restrictions change, we can no longer restrict ourselves to the traditional source markets we used to rely on. Let's take a look at another example, Dubai on New Year's Eve. So we see lots of red color on our map. We see there is high demand that is well spread across the city. 
Now, our search data shows that customers are interested to stay very close to the main areas and the firework hotspots. So Dubai downtown around Burj Khalifa, and then along Jumeirah Beach and the Palm. Yes, we see high demand, but across the city, a lot of inventory, 70% of hotels and 21% of alternative lodging are still available. Now again, who's planning to come to Dubai? Most flight searches are done from European countries. We again see the UK and France as well high on the list, who will both enjoy their Christmas holidays. And visitors intend to stay for a longer period, an average of seven nights. Now, this is very useful information to fine tune your marketing strategy and to potentially tailor country specific lengths of stay promotions. Now, the following week, on the 4th of January, we have a very good example on how customer intent changes by arrival date. Now we see demand shifting from the city towards the beach properties. Now rushing New Year holidays will happen around that time. So a little surprising that we see Russia coming up as a top feeder market. Now we know Russians love to spend time at the beach, so definitely a great opportunity for the beach properties. But then certainly also a chance for the city hotels to get a piece of the pie, if they take the right actions, of course. And these insights might lead to some internal operational questions that we all know too well. Can we offer a shuttle bus to the beach? Do we have enough frontline Russian stuff, speaking stuff available? And so on. So real-time forward-looking data is not only important to the revenue managers. It's very powerful insights for your marketing and your operation teams as well, so they can plan ahead and efficiently manage their resources and budgets. Now in this pandemic, um, I think we can all agree more than ever before, hotel hotels struggle with two things. It's time because you have redu reduced stuffing and money, of course. So more than ever, you will need insights to know where to put your efforts. Now, all the data you just saw is available in our Market Insight solution. It's collected and presented in the, in the dashboard you see for future individual arrival dates or aggregated for longer periods like custom days or weeks. Now, the platform proactively shows you where the revenue opportunities lay. It helps you focus on the right days or periods, decide where your marketing spend should go to, what kind of point of sale and length of stay promotions to create and how to overall adjust your pricing strategy to be in line with the demand level. Now, what can you take away today? Maybe rely less on historical data and previous booking behavior. Knowing that you're even harder fighting for your share of demand, understand your potential customer intent and then build offers aligned to their needs to turn these lookers into bookers. And I mean, even in these challenging times, I believe there are still opportunities to yield. And that's why hotels should take database decisions into their planning for next year in order to create a successful recovery. Now, that's it all from my side. Here are my contact details. Um, if you want to reach out after the event, but I'll also be available at our virtual booth for the rest of the day. I know it's a very busy schedule for everybody, but if you get the chance, please pass by. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you. Thank you, Wiebke. And we'd love to keep you for a few more minutes. There is a bunch of questions that have come through our, from our audience. The first one is, the 25% of same day rate changes that you are seeing on an hourly basis, are these movements upwards or downwards? Definitely upwards, yes. I mean, it, of course it depends very much on the market, right? But that's globally figures and um, that's, that's about a 10% upwards trend to what we saw before the pandemic. All right, thank you. 
Are you seeing any particular change in consumer behavior on buying individual flight and hotel versus buying package path opt options? Um, not really. Um, I, I, I don't think we, we have insights on package options so much. So I don't think we, we can see the differentiation at the moment. Yeah. So that's definitely a good question. Next one. We are aware that ADRs are dropping and industry is already 40 to 50% below last year in some markets. How are you seeing the airline average pricing drops versus last year? Yeah, another good question. Um, surprisingly, the airline prices have not dropped as much as the hotel prices have dropped. Um, so this is definitely a trend that we can see. So there's def definitely a difference between hotel prices and airline prices. In Dubai, which has been a big supply demand imbalance right now, how do you see the direct impact of alternative lodging? Do you see an increase in search of such options for Dubai? Um, yes, there is definitely. Um, we know that um, yeah, the, the traveler intent definitely changes. Um, people are looking at other criteria. They want to be more in private accommodation. They're very con much considered about hygiene as such. So yes, so we definitely see an increase in Airbnb-like accommodation. Yeah. Thank you. And what has been noticed with cancellations? Although demand is high, cancellations are equally high. What stats do you have on this? Um, we do have stats on the cancellation, which I need to look up, but um, it's part of our revenue insight tool that we are now able to actually track cancellations at a very granular level. So we can see cancellations by segments, uh, by companies, by travel agents. So. Um, that's definitely very granular insights we have on the cancellations. Hotel companies have launched some exciting campaigns, read it as deep discount campaigns of late. Do you see an increase of search or conversion as and when these campaigns are launched? Um, no, we don't have actually insights on the conversion that's at the moment so um, nothing as of yet and finally any data or insights to share with the recent black friday weekend did you see some incremental conversions during this period um, yes definitely if anybody's interested to see that for specific markets um, please feel free to reach out to me um, we definitely have some data available on that. Great. Thank you so much, Weekbe, for your time. Thank you. Thank, thank you as well.